Move, <laughs> get out the way, get out the way, bitch, <laughs> get out the way. I'm about to knock your lights out, <laughs> yo. Okay, so the reason why I'm hearing this song, right? I'm hearing this song because I know a lot of y'all been hearing about the cardinal signs and how, you know, you don't have to be no cardinal sign, but wherever you have these signs on your birth chart is where you've been going through transformations since 2008. And we got one more month, y'all, okay? <laughs> we got one more fucking month. One more fucking month, all right? I'm not no... I'm a Leo son, so... But I do have placements in Cancer. I think it's Cancer Aries. Let me see. Let me go back and see. Hold on. A child of nine. <laughs> it's Cancer, Capricorn, Libra, and Aries. I have placements in these uh, signs. And the majority of you have placements in your birth chart in these signs. So wherever you have these signs in your birth chart is where you about to go through one more month of telling these placements and these karmic cycles to get the fuck out your way. Seriously. Okay? So if you actually listening and you actually transforming and you actually letting go, because this is all about letting, letting, letting go. And the lessons that you have been learning in these placements, it hasn't just been for you. It's been for you and the people that you have met along the way. Okay, so, but baby, I'm here to get the fuck out. Move, bitch. <laughs> we all tired. I understand shit. I'm tired too, hell. The fuck? I'm tired too. So, we got Pluto going back into Capricorn, I think, tomorrow. All right? But again, I've been picking up on 1010 a lot, and today is 1010, and it is about karmic cycles ending. So, y'all, a majority of y'all ain't playing no well fucking game. We ain't playing no games out here. We tired of the bullshit. We sick of it. So, some of y'all, like, y'all done probably experienced people, you know, y'all done probably lost some people, whether it was due to, you know, a loss of a relationship, maybe somebody passed away or something, maybe you've been taking job losses back to back, you've been, you know, having to move back to back and stuff, but it's okay, it's okay, it's all fucking K. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, like y'all, but, that, but yeah, that, I keep hearing boo, bitch, get out the way. Get out the way. Cardinal Signs about to go through a major transformation, okay? A major transformation. Cover up just came out. Hmm. I wonder what that's about. Let's see what else we got come out here. I just seen Diddler. <laughs> Diddler. <laughs> I'm here run for cover. Run for cover. Because baby, this 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 transformation that's happening for these placements and stuff and it all depends on where you have it like for instance i have my lilith and aries and i'm not gonna go too deep into what the lilith and aries placement is all about or whatever but that, that dark side of me i've been i always had trouble with my lilith and aries placement and baby right now especially with my mars and libra but let me just talk about that one forget the fuck the lilith and aries baby let's talk about my mars I think it's Mars. Is it Mercury? <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Talking all that big boy stuff, and I just forgot exactly what placement it is. I think it's my Mars and Libra, if I'm not mistaken. Let me go back and look. <clears throat> yep. I wasn't fucking tripping. <laughs> I got Mars and Libra and Jupiter and Libra. But baby, that motherfucking Mars and Libra. Ooh. 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 Ooh, baby. When I tell you, that's the big placement for me. That's always been the biggest one for me, my Mars and Libra. Because as some of you already know, when it comes to the Mars and Libra, like, I don't tend, I tend to not confront people like that. You know what I'm saying? I always try to play the bigger person, the nicer person and shit. Oh, but fuck that. Not no more. And I'm so glad. I'm, this is why I love astrology. Once again, this is why I love astrology, y'all. Dig into y'all birth charts. And I'm going to tell y'all somebody y'all need to go to. Uh, a force of nature, baby, a baby, a force of nature, baby. I don't know if you're going to, you might not watch this video because I don't know if she watched Sarah or not, but baby, I'm going to give her a big ass shout out because baby, she had me looking at my whole goddamn birth chart all over again just to see what she had to say about the placements. I love how she break down the placements, y'all, like dead ass serious. 
The other person I love going to. Hold on. Let me go. Let me go to his channel. <clears throat> His name is Astro Finesse. Astro Finesse. That's who I normally go to. I normally go to him. Okay. And I still love his videos too. He, he's, he's definitely my favorite one. But baby, I ain't gonna bullshit you. Oh shit. Yeah. Astro Finesse, hell. <laughs> of course, the nature is my favorite one now. I ain't gonna lie to you. Baby, she breaks them placements down so, so good. I mean, she breaks it down in a way where. It's like it's it's so raw and it, it's it's and it's deep. It's real deep and it's felt. So if y'all looking for somebody to go to to look at your birth chart and have them explain it, I recommend Astro Finesse too. But baby, a force of nature, I really recommend her, baby. I really really recommend her. Seriously, shout out to you, babe. Okay, let's get some missions out here. Let's see what else do. We what else do the fucking cardinal signs got to deal with here? Somebody better run for cover here. They better run for cover. Because as we go into this last month, we got one more month, y'all. One more month. One more month, okay? <laughs> I'll tell you, bro. <laughs> oh, we talk about that cold mouth don't get fed. One more month. One more fucking month. It's time to get shit done. It's time to really transform. What else do cardinal signs got to deal with here? But like I said, you don't have to be no cardinal sign. You could just have this sign somewhere in your birth chart. So once again, look at wherever you have Capricorn, Aries, Cancer. And let me go back to the picture <laughs> so I can tell you the last one. <laughs> in Libra. <clears throat> what do you have those placements in your birth chart? What house is it in? And what planet is it in? All right here. We got projection. Yeah, there's going to be a lot more projection here going on. A lot more projection going on. I'm not going to get too many from here. Yeah, what was that? Family. I should look at all of them. Family. You are a believer. You have faith. Some of you are going to be the one to change your whole goddamn bloodline around. Because most of the people that even have these placements that's been going through this transformation since 2008 are millennials. Most of us are millennials. I'm telling you, and most of us have um, Uranus conjunct uh, Neptune and Capricorn. We got fire. You can light me up and I'ma put you out. This girl is on fire. <laughs> it's Girl is on fire. Yes. I'm here. I'm even hearing superwoman. I'm a super woman. Yes, I am. Some of you could be single moms or even single dads here. Mmm, a lot of transformations. I can't turn I can trans I can transform, yeah. I stand on my words slash actions, standing on business. I'm telling you, man, people better run for cover. They better run for cover because you standing on business. You ain't come here to play. You did not come here to play. They got one more month to be with their little fuckery. Whatever they going to do, they got one more fucking month to do it. But I advise them to, to, to take cover. Okay. Because those of you who are like, if you was born a cardinal sign, I know y'all sick of the shit. <laughs> I know y'all tired, especially if you're uh, a cardinal sign rising. We got Archangel Camarillo out here. Goddamn fly keep flying around. You little fucker. <laughs> what else we got out here? So yellow, yellow. Camriel is all about uh, your your vitality. Done dealing with these low vibrational ass people. I just seen toxic Capricorn and I see Mars. Somebody got Mars and Capricorn here. If you got Mars and Capricorn, this reading is definitely for you. Well, you know, <laughs> reverse psychology almost came out. What else here? What else do we got to deal with during this damn month? Karmic almost came out. Some more fucking karmics. Your energy made me feel good and I didn't appreciate it. Yep. 
getting rid of people who don't appreciate your energy, who want to take your goddamn kindness for weakness. You on fire right now. Smile on your face whole time. They want to take your place. Backstab us. <laughs> you done with it. No more backstabbing. No more backstabbing. No more being in my face laughing and keep hearing this shit and thinking it's funny. Ain't nothing funny no more. We done with all that. I'm going to get one more row here. And I'm going to pull from my other deck. What else we got going on here? I know what you did last summer. <clears throat> we got protective order. And then we got Capricorn here. Definitely something about Capricorn. Especially if y'all got Capricorn here. Look at that. Cut them off. It ain't nothing to cut that bitch off. <laughs> it ain't nothing to catch that bitch. Cut that bitch off. Check me. No, check yourself. People are going to be panicking, man. Like, how dare you? How dare you say you don't want to mess with me no more? How dare you say that you're done with me? Bitch, that's what I said. What the fuck I said? And then that goddamn thing you can do about it. <laughs> Some of y'all are definitely a Capricorn rising or a Capricorn sun. You was born a Capricorn here. But baby, yeah, I'm definitely getting that heavy on the Capricorn. Because we got, we got carry, carry powers. I'm telling you. And then we got fire right here. Carry how she set the place on fire, man, people better leave you the fuck alone. They better leave these people alone that's been going through this transformation, man, because I'm cut. It ain't nothing to cut that. It ain't nothing to cut you off. Not now. We've been dealing with your ass since 2008, bitch. <laughs> I mean, not you haven't been dealing with the, some of the people. Some people you didn't met within the last, what, one year possibly, last two years, last five years, some of you. But still, you've been dealing with people's shit since 2008, depending on where you have these placements. And you're done. You're sick of it. But especially if you are a Capricorn and the, and the rest of the signs, like if you was born in one of these cardinal signs, I know for a fact that you're sick of it. Even if you're a rising sign, a cardinal rising sign. <clears throat> it ain't I keep hearing it. I keep hearing it. Yo, let me look up the lyrics because I keep hearing it. I think it's something about the lyrics. Let me go look at the lyrics and see what line stands out. It ain't nothing to cut that bitch. <laughs> so this is K Camp. <laughs> nothing but a bird. I'ma leave you where you stand, huh? <laughs> Heard you got a man. Hope you understand, though. You ain't nothing but a creeper, baby. I'm just saying, though. Creeping on the low. Hope your man don't see. She'll bust it down for some damn, <laughs> for some damn lamaritas. Chew me like some bubble gum, something like Rashida. Your man trying to patrol, I guess he a cop. Go on up my phone. I'll tell y'all right about that. Trying to hold something, hold my list. Can you do that? <laughs> Let me hold something. Yeah, I'm telling you, that's another thing here. Something you're, like your money, your money, especially for the Aries placements. The Aries placements is about to go through a major transformation when it comes to money. And you're going to have people try, oh, let me hold that. Let me hold this. You know what I'm saying? I hold my list. Can you do that? You should, you should no. Basically, no. Y'all about to be so comfortable saying no. No to others and yes to yourself. Try mm. <laughs> to put this phone down. <laughs> Trying to hold something. Hold my lips. Can you do that? <laughs> y'all, like, what? Y'all, this is so crazy. What was I saying when this card came out? Run for cover, right? Protect yourself. Get the fuck out of Dodge. And then we got protect the order that came out. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. Oh, wow. I spit the deck on fucking no. I can't make... Y'all finna get... Yo, I can't make it up. You finna get so fucking comfortable telling people no. Yo. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What else? We got smear campaign. Nobody else talk about what you got to say about us. Say what you want. Who cares? <clears throat> Don't nobody care about the he say, she say. What else? 
Y'all ain't playing. So this represent a, uh, my auntie. Some of you can have this name though. I just seen Libra. Yeah, I just, well, first I seen Capricorn, now I'm seeing Libra. I'm telling you, man, so this is definitely talking about the cardinal sign placements here. This ain't no coincidence that I just seen all these cards. I'm gonna put this back though, but let's represent uh, auntie. Oh, we gotta check it. Some of y'all could be checking your auntie here or a family member. Again, they're gonna be, how dare you, bitch? How dare I not? How dare I not? Since 2008, what you mean? How dare I not? <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. That's just what I'm hearing. How dare I not? Check me, bitch. Check yourself. At the door, 100 miles away. This <laughs> is so funny. I don't think I did that for the other one. <laughs> okay, they get some more out here. I'm going to get the same amount of cards. What else? And then I guess I'll just start pulling from the tarot. What else? <clears throat> get out the way. Look at that. Proving they're wrong. Doubt at your work ethic, yet they don't do anything. Time would tell. We're gonna see who really about it, who really about it about it. We about to see who really about it about it. Who really gonna walk their walk and talk the talk. Who really, you know, making changes in their life here. It don't matter about the he say, she say. Don't nobody care about that smear campaign. Time would tell who's actually putting in the goddamn work. And a lot of people that's been sleeping on you since 2008, not even realizing what's happening. Not even realizing what's happening. Again, that's why I love astrology. Because everything happens for a reason. What else here? The brainwash just came out. <clears throat> yeah, that projection shit. And these people, I'm telling you, man, these people better run for cover. Because you're going to be proving a lot of people wrong here that doubt at you. They better run for cover. Projecting onto you like you brainwashed when they the ones that's really brainwashed ain't learning the lessons here. But like I say, you're not the only person that you're not the only person that's been learning these lessons. The people that you've been encountering been been having they have they have a lesson to learn too. Both of you have a lesson to learn. Whether it's a friendship, a relationship, or a family member. What else we got here? And we're gonna see who's been learning the lesson. Oh, time is gonna tell. We got stuck on you. Man, you're going to have a lot of people stuck on you. Okay, again, I keep hearing a uh, girl on fire. Some reason, I want to go to, uh, I want to go to Ludacris song. Yeah, Ludacris. Doesn't ludicrous mean crazy? Yeah. They thought you was ludicrous. They tried, they treated you like you was crazy. I'm telling you, man, some of you have been treated like you crazy. But again, without people knowing exactly what's going on, once again, that's why I love astrology. I'm going to keep fucking saying it. Okay, let's go to these lyrics. <clears throat> oh, no, the fight's out. I'm about to punch your lights out. <laughs> <laughs> There's something wrong. We can't stay still. I've been drinking and busting too, and I've been thinking, and I've been thinking, and I've been thinking of busting you. That's not your motherfucking forehead. <laughs> oh my goodness! Cosmic confusion, disturbing the peace. You know what I'm getting with this song? For some reason, I'm getting Pluto and Capricorn. And we, we just seen Capricorn not too long ago. Yeah. Because even though this is for the cardinal signs, it's all about Pluto being in Capricorn. That's what this is. Pluto is going to Capricorn for one more month for all the cardinal signs. And I just seen Capricorn. And what was right behind Capricorn? Cut them off. Yo, this is crazy. A whole season about cutting. Man, okay. Because when I'm getting with this lyric specifically, causing confusion, disturbing the peace, 
I'm getting Pluto and Capricorn. This is what Pluto and Capricorn is doing, disturbing the peace and causing confusion here because there's something there's something there's something that needs to be learnt. It's not an illusion we run in the streets. <clears throat> Okay, let me go to uh, Girl on Fire. Now, we can talk about this one and the remix. I'm getting this one and the remix with Nicki Minaj. She's just a girl and she's on fire. <laughs> Hotter than a fantasy. Lonely like a highway. She's different in the world and it's on fire. Faithful catastrophe, but she knows she can fly away. Oh, she got her head in the clouds, and she's not burning down. She got both feet on the ground. I messed it all up. <laughs> she got both feet on the ground, and she's not burning down. I mean, I'm telling you, man, some of you have been weathering this shit since 2008. A lot of you have really been learning your lessons here, though. Like, you seriously have. And like I said, it's about to be shown. As soon as Pluto get in Aquarius, oh, it's about to be shown who actually been learning their lessons. It definitely is. <clears throat> Somebody ain't backing down here. It's like a girl, but she's a flame. So bright she can burn your eyes. Better look the other way. You can try, but you know, forget her name. <laughs> I don't care if I can sing or not because if I want to sing, I'm going to freaking sing, period. That's another thing y'all going to have to uh, learn. Say what you want to say. Do what you want to do, okay? As long as you ain't bothering nobody, hurting nobody. Period. Again, move. She <laughs> Get out the way. Oh, a lot of people, all of y'all about to have people stuck on you like glue. I'm telling you. Oh, I spit the deck on 50 shades of gray. Mm. <laughs> Let me find out. Look at that. Living in living rent free in their head. Y'all already know. Because you standing on your words, last actions. I'm telling you, man, time is about to tell. What else we got out here? Archangel Raphael almost came out. Wow, it was going to fall right on top of Archangel Camriel. So Raphael and Camriel has really been doing some work. Because this, I've been getting, I got those, I got both of those angels in one of my previous readings. They both came out. I ain't making this up. Child, the 80s just flew out. Something about the 80s. Some of you was born in the 80s here. Something happened in the 80s. That's also getting cleared out. <clears throat> what else we got here? I'm not too sure what I'm getting with that 80s. What is going on here? Okay, damn. Look at that. Stop taking care of unresponsible adults. They want us to fight. God's greatest helper. Spiritual murder, wisdom over logic, stop listening to them. That's a whole bunch of lessons here. I'm not going to take any of these. What else is spirit for this Pluto and Capricorn? Or should I say what else Pluto and Capricorn? What else you got for the collective here, Pluto? <laughs> This person is your karma. Learn the lesson. Yo, Pluto and Capricorn is teaching us karmic lessons. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. Okay, what else you got, Pluto and Capricorn? She. <laughs> okay. We got Astro Travel to watch you. How did you know that? And Reptilian. Shape shifting ass energies. What else is Pluto and Capricorn? 
What else you want the collective to know here? That's going through these powerful transformations. Get three more cards. Somebody real kinky. <laughs> Somebody kinky. I don't know where that energy coming from. They got they want us to fight again. Want somebody to fight? Ain't no help over here. Karma, it all falls down. What else here? Let me get one card. One card here, spirit. Okay, okay. Astro travel to watch you came right back out. Child, this from this shit gonna be coming to an end too. All this goddamn astro traveling, people be doing this shit. That's coming to an end as well. Anybody got time for all this shit? Look at that. Got your wings. Congrats. I'm telling you, some of you are about to get your wings here. Because you're going to be healing a whole bunch of childhood trauma. Again, time is going to tell who has been learning their lessons. <clears throat> I'm hearing this, uh, a song. I'm hearing we made it. I did it. I did it. I did it. I'm not so sure if that's a song. I'm hearing we made it, though. <clears throat> I guess it's Drake. We made it. I ain't never heard this song though. Or have I? Hmm. Let me keep going. Let's get one more card here. One more card here. Wow, we got kids have their karma. Anybody that hasn't been checking for themselves and trying to check you, ain't been learning their lessons here, and they've been doing stuff to people, that's what happens. Sometimes it skips you and it goes straight to the youngin'. Yes, it's crazy, it's fucked up. You know, it, it shit happens though. People gotta stop what they doing. Let's pull up on the row here. Let's see what else Pluto and Capricorn got in store for the people. What else you got to say here when it comes to this energy? I'm gonna do this off of what came out here. Let me remind y'all of the cards that came out. I see it, I see it, I see it. Okay. All right here. Let's see. So I'm getting the five of wands already. The five of wands and the devil. We got the ace of swords. Okay, ace of swords coming out first. The truth shall set you free is what I just heard. The truth shall set you free. Clarification. Clear communication. Walking in your truth here. Being brave, sending on business. Those are some of the things I'm hearing here. And some of you could be an air sign here or something. With the king of swords at the bottom of the deck. Or some of you could be a Libra. Yeah, Libra. Something about your Libra placement. Placement. What's the ace of swords here? Or some of y'all about to learn some type of truths here. What's the Ace of Swords? The Nine of Cups. I'm being prepared. Sit down. Spirit say, y'all, look at the Empress sitting down. Sit down. Prepare for something. Spirit about to prepare some of y'all for the truth here. Because some of y'all, if you ain't learning your lesson, Spirit gonna force this lesson on you by giving you some type of pain for truth to make you close out a karma cycle. I'm telling you, I'm gonna make you sit down and think about it. You're gonna have your ass pissed too. Whatever it is, 
Child, just run away while you can. Don't, 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 don't even question why God is telling you to leave a certain person alone, to leave a certain environment. Baby, just listen. <laughs> just listen. Because <laughs> some of you don't want to know the truth or why you've been, you know, moved away from certain things. You don't want to know the truth, okay? Just fucking listen. Just listen. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> I'm hearing just listen. <laughs> For real. What does Ace of Swords here with the Nine of Cups? I just need a death card. I'm telling you, man, it's going to push you to a transformation. I'm mad. I'm mad. Bitch, you done made me mad. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing mad. We got the moon here, the five of wands, the death. Mm -mm. A lot of dark stuff coming out. I don't know who the King Cups is. Something going to have you on your emotions or something? Mm, no, I'm picking up on Archangel. Uh... I'm picking up on angels. I'm picking up on an angel here. Is this Archangel uh Michael? I'm picking up on Archangel Michael here. Hmm. What else here? What else? Look at that. The temperance just came out, y'all. I'm telling you, I'm picking up on angels. We already got Archangel Camriel out here. Earlier, Archangel Raphael almost came out. A lot of you got your angels working side by side with you right now to help you through this transformation. Clarify this temperance. Because shit about to get hectic one more time with the five of wands. It's about to get hectic one more time. There's a need to balance out karmic situations. A lot of y'all about to be hit with some more chaos here. Again, we got one more month for this damn ride. One more fucking month. Okay? Just one more fucking month. <laughs> Shit, yeah. Uh, but, uh, but it's okay. Though. I love it, though. You know, I might be you know, I might be using these bad words or whatever, but I, I love it. You know, I love it. I really do. I'm hearing a war going to battle. You know, the angels are, are, are warriors here. I'm hearing angels fighting your battles. Keep moving forward with the fool. Yeah, with the six of wands. And then we got the six of cups. What's this temperance here with the five of wands? I told y'all I was picking up on the five of wands with the devil. The world in reverse. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh my goodness, man. Like, ugh. It's going to be some goddamn drama here on purpose. It's going to be drama headed some of y'all way on purpose. But this is going to be to test some of you. To test your to test certain areas in your life. Again, wherever you have these card and sign placements to see if you actually learned your lesson. Man, y'all better come the fuck through. Y'all better show spirit and your ancestors and your angels you are learning. I may be picking up on the angels here though. I'm going to get something about the angels. What's the word reverse? Because not only is other people worried about to be flipped upside down, shit, all word about to be flipped up. All word is about to be flipped upside down, too. It's already been like that since 2008. We got one more fucking month of dealing with it. Have you really learned your lesson? It's time to show up and show out. But in a peaceful way, in a way where you can move forward, you know. I ain't gonna say necessarily peaceful because <laughs> mm, maybe a lot of chaos going on. What's this word reverse here? I just seen the sun. I'm telling you a whole bunch of exposure secrets coming out with the damn moon. A lot of secrets coming out. The moon with the eight of pentacles. There's a lot of stuff that's been going on behind the scenes that people don't really know about. Again, doing the work to heal. Introspection time. What's this moon here specifically? The Three of Cups. Especially for uh, friendship dynamics. A lot of friendship dynamics. People that, that you know, that come together. Or, yeah, a lot of you going to be getting new friends. Partner up with new family members and stuff. Moving away from co-workers. What's this Five of Wands here specifically? Justice. What I say? Things must be balanced here. 
heavy on a Libra. Heavy on a Capricorn and Libra placements. Something about Capricorn and Libra placements is really going to be significant for a lot of you. What's this Five of Wands with Justice? With the Four of Wands. And some of you just going to be, this is going to be surrounding um, family, community, partnerships. Yeah, partnerships here. Your closeness, how close you are with your family, friends, and lovers. I'm getting partnerships. Something about the fourth house here, too. Some of y'all can have Libra in the fourth house, or Capricorn in the fourth house, or even Cancer in the fourth house, or Aries in the fourth house. Something about the fourth house is significant. A Knight of Wands just came out. What's this Knight of Wands? Yeah, a lot of energy. One more freaking month. Well, everything is fine. It's going to be a lot of chaotic energy coming through. But it's okay. Again, it's to help us learn our lessons. Give me one here for the collector. What type of energy is the collector in right now? Some of you, like, sitting pretty already. Or you just, or you listen to, yeah, listen, yeah, listen to that guy that intuition. Some of you and y'all high priestess energy. I know that's right. High priestess, high priest energy. Listen. Some of y'all, majority of you are listening here. And some of you are listening through these tarot readings. And that's good. That's good. Keep listening. Keep moving forward. Keep learning them lessons. What's the high priestess here? Because you're going to get rewarded in the end. The two of cups just came out in reverse. Some of you are going to be ending, what I just say, karmic partnerships here. Whether it's a family member, a friend, or a lover, you got to let them go. You got to let them go. What's this two of cups of verse? You got to let them go. And you're going to be fucking rewarded like I just said. You're going to be rewarded. If you learn the lesson and listen to your intuition, you're going to be rewarded. I know that's right. I know that's right. What's this ace of pentacles here with the two of cups of verse? With the Ace of Wands, I'm telling you, new beginnings. You're going to be rewarded with new beginnings. <laughs> ain't nothing to cut that bitch off. You say, I don't need to cut who off, when, where. Baby, you ain't even got to tell me how. <laughs> you ain't even got to tell me all that spirit. I, I got to let you go, baby. I got to let you go. Oh. We, I'm sorry about sorry, but I got to let you go. I don't really know why, but bye bye. <laughs> See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. <laughs> See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. I'm telling you, man. A lot of you be about to be in your Queen of Swords energy. I'm telling you. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. <laughs> oh my gosh, why is this so funny? This so funny. <laughs> y'all have mercy. Y'all don't want to pull them up from deck here. Got the hermit at the bottom. Uh, let me pull my angel cards out here. Because I'm picking up on the angel's energy real heavy right now. So let's get y'all an angel message. What angel message do you have for my people here? There's learning their karmic lessons here. What's the angel message? Thank you so much. Look at that. A journey. And we got the sun here. The exposure. We all on a journey. One more month, child. <laughs> That's exactly what this is. Crossing a bridge. Crossing to the other side. We about to experience this journey one more time. One more time. With things, final things about to get exposed to us that we have to let go. The thinking man. Let's see. Clarify this journey. Okay. Pack your bags. Yeah. 
her bags are packed. Pack your bags. Spirit about to take you on a journey here. I'm telling you, man, a lot of us about to go through a very powerful transformation. Let's see here. We got Archangel Raphael and strategy. Is that a contract? Signing new contracts here. Now, I told y'all I'm picking up on Raphael. Look, at Raphael and Camriel out here again together. Man, Raphael is doing a lot of work for us. A lot of work. And Raphael is all about healing. I know that's right, Raphael. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Clarify this journey here with Archangel Raphael and strategy. I told y'all picking up on the angels heavy. <clears throat> the Ten of Pentacles of Earth. Oh, my gosh. Some people ain't your family here. A lot of y'all about to find out that, you know, you ain't really, you're not really in your real family. You might have been born in this family here, but they not your soul tribe. What's the Ten of Pentacles of Earth? Yep, they're not your soul tribe with the lovers. And as you do the inner work, you're going to be led to your true soul tribe. But it's going to take a lot of letting go first. New soul contracts. Meet new people. What's the Ten of Pentacles of Earth with the lovers? We got the Queen of Pentacles. Definitely something about uh our money and stability here. I'm going down a rabbit hole here too. And Capricorn. Heavy on the Capricorn energy. Getting grounded. Let's see, I'm going to get two more cards from each day. Give me some more help for this journey, Archangel Raphael, and strategy. We got to pick up a piece of trash. Community service. But some of you, it, it makes you real happy to know that you're giving back to the earth here. And keep doing that. For some of you, you've always wanted to do community service. Start out by doing that. You know, you don't have to volunteer for no um, no shelter or anything like that right off. You volunteer your ass and take, take a trash bag and just go pick up some trash. You know? You don't have to be doing it for the community. You don't have to be doing it for no type of organization. Just do it for nature. Just do it for nature. Okay? Just do it for nature. Let's, let's, let's show in nature how much you actually care. And trust me, baby, she listening, she watching, and she hearing. She notices. Oh, she noticed everything. Give me one more here. She noticed everything. Give me one more here. And trust me, she's really going to appreciate you for that. Really. Child, look at this. Walk with the ancestors, I'm telling you, man. And she is an ancestor. Choose what you want to think. Underdog, drug dealer. Look at that, ask for a bird. You know what about that thought about birds? Like, y'all be feeding the birds and stuff. Like, some of y'all can feed the birds. Just give back. Yo, this is so beautiful. So beautiful. Let me get two more from the other side. Give me some more here. What else do Raphael got for the collective here when it comes to this? Look at that. We got guilt trip alert. Childhood trauma. People coming back from the past here. With their childhood trauma that they haven't been dealing with, even though you've been dealing with yours, you inspire people to heal. You understand them. Oh, wow. So some of you some of you are meant to be a healer here. Some of you are going to have people. So just be careful of how you treat people, how you talk to people, because some of you are going to have people to come into your life because you inspire these people to heal, and they watch you heal. They watched you transform since 2008. And now that you're about to go through an even bigger transformation, you're about to come out on the other side. Like, next year, it's about to be beautiful. 
It's about to be a beautiful for a lot of y'all next year. Yeah. You're going to inspire a lot of people to heal. Give me one more. Wow, a force not to be reckoned with. All right. I want to close it out with one of my Divine Feminine cards. Whether you're a man or a woman, this is for you. Why well, split the deck on Hiller? I told y'all some of y'all a healer out here. All right. Give me one card here. Okay, shit, we got two cards. Is that healer? Child, I be goddamn. Healer came out. With coralism. I'd be goddamn. <laughs> Lottie, have mercy. Some of you are a healer, and some people are jealous of this. Coralism, that's all about jealousy. Let's read this coralism here first. Number 10. This is about your shadow side as well. Okay. You may be too possessive, jealous, or oppressive. You can feel bad when your partner or friend spends time with other people. You may also be tempted to spy on your partner. See, some of you who are used to spying on your partner, checking people's phones and stuff, you know, damaging people's property and shit like that. Ah, we ain't doing all that no more. No, 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 no. You too good for that girl. You don't need to do that, guy. Okay? We ain't doing all that, especially for y'all women. Uh -uh. We ain't doing all that. We're not doing all that. Not no more. And again, these things could be talking about somebody else here. Like I said, you a healer. And then healer just came out. And then we got coralism talking about jealousy. So this card could actually just be talking about these other people. But just in case it's talking about you, you know, going from not holding on to other people's jealousy, making you turn jealous. And transform yourself into a healer. I'm just going to speak on it. Okay. You may tend to engage in toxic relationships. Which hurt you. Slow you down. Or are complicated. I, 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 we ain't doing it no more. Nope. You may be vindictive. Trying to take revenge on your quarreling with others. Yeah. We ain't taking no revenge on nobody either. We letting it go baby. We letting it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. <laughs> Let it go. I don't care what the. <laughs> I forgot the lyrics. I forgot the lyrics. Anyway. <laughs> Babe, I gotta go to this. Some of y'all might wanna watch Frozen. Not a footprint to be seen. A kingdom of isolation. And it looks like. I'm the queen. <laughs> the wind is howling like this swirling storm inside. Couldn't keep it in. Heaven knows I tried. Don't let them in. Don't let them see. Be the good girl you always had to be. Conceal, don't feel. Don't let them know. Well, now they know. Wow. Guess what I'm getting from this, y'all? 48, 48 on the timer as I look up too. I'm definitely getting the solar eclipse again that happened uh April, that April solar eclipse. I'm getting that. But guess what I'm getting with these lyrics? When she say, conceal, don't feel, don't let them know. Well, now they know how cold-hearted you can be. Baby, I'm telling you how cold-hearted you can be. You can be cold-hearted too. But not cold-hearted in a way where you're... You're exuding the same type of jealousy that they exude onto you. It's like, no, I'm not going to let you hurt my heart no more, but I'm going to let you go. Cold-hearted in the type of way where I can cut you off. That's what I'm getting here. Let it go. Uh, 
I don't care what they're going to say. Let the storm rage on. The cold never bothered me anyway. Mm-hmm. People leaving you out in the cold, thinking that, you know, they, they making you feel left out. But little do they know, shit, you love your own company. <laughs> I know me, baby. I know me, baby. I don't love, shit. I can enjoy my, what my woman did say. I don't mind throwing myself a surprise party and walking in surprising my goddamn self. I sure the fuck will. <laughs> hey, but we don't want to be alone. We're coming together as a community now, but I'm just saying, you know, you can rock alone if you need to rock alone. Nobody was making you feel left out. They was really making themselves feel left out. And that's why I say, once again, time will tell who's actually been learning the lesson. <clears throat> It's funny how some distance makes everything seem small. And the fears that once controlled me can't get to me at all. It's time to see what I can do to test the limits and break through. No right, no wrong, no rules for me. <laughs> I'm free. Yo. This is how y'all going to be feeling once uh, Pluto finally into Aquarius. Free. Letting everything go and being who you want to be. I am one with the wind and sky connecting to nature. I know that's right. Okay, let me keep reading here. You may be touchy and hypersensitive about what others say and how they look at you. You take things too much to heart. You may catastrophize because you feel targeted and hurt, which can lead you to sulk, show anger, or feel belittled. Don't let nobody make you feel none of this, okay? But here's, a, here's some pointers here, though. Give others space and learn to develop trust. If you don't trust others, maybe you lack self-confidence, and that's okay. It is okay if you lack, lack self-confidence because you can always work on that. Or you can always work on that. Does this insecurity stem from a fear of being abandoned, humiliated, or rejected? Or perhaps you feel you don't deserve to be loved? Instead of remaining in fear, become aware of your qualities. Meet them and expand them with gentle and quiet strength so you can be at peace with yourself. Stop hurting yourself. Looking unconsciously for toxic relationships to wound yourself or another. Develop your self-esteem to finally meet friendly, benevolent, interesting, and especially sincere people. What was your model for human relationships? Release any damaging conditions and shout aloud yes to peaceful and nurturing relationships, which, are, which will bring out the best in you. Peaceful relationships don't mean routine and boredom, but gentleness and respect. Find your inner peace. Your relationship with yourself affects your relationship with others. So if you, so we, we, it's all about you right now. Okay, it's all about you right now. It's all about you right now. Even if you feel resentment or impulses of anger or revenge, taking it out on others won't make things better. Anger is felt against yourself first. So work on your wounds and free yourself from past traumas. By transforming the negative energies that poison your mind and body and bring difficult or even violent situations into your life. Then you will finally be able to love yourself at your fair value. Show humility sometimes. Don't take things literally or personally. If something strike like an arrow to your heart, perhaps you should change your outlook on yourself and your unhealed wounds, which react when people... When someone says something negative to you, instead of responding hurtfully, be gentle. This will create a protective cocoon around you, which will prevent what others say from resonating with your inner hurts. Wow. So it's like it's like um, forgiving but not forgetting. You can forgive people for the things that happen to you, but it's hard to forget the things that happen to you. But it's, it's like taking your time here, though, not letting what other people say get to you, but building up your confidence in a way where if somebody do say something to you that resonated with something that happened to you in your childhood or maybe in a toxic relationship, you won't go off on that person because you've been healing that. You understand that it's not, it has nothing to do with you. It's about how that person feel about themselves. 
and they want to do something here to make you feel exactly how they feel. Wow, this is so beautiful. Let me read this Hiller 23. I'm telling y'all, this is this 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 is the card for majority for majority y'all right here though. This is the card for majority y'all. And child, it say freedom on it. I can't make this a priest freedom care and completeness. <clears throat> Help others' hearts be at peace. Help others to forgive and develop values such as brotherhood, sisterhood, mutual assistance, and tolerance. Invite people to not judge but be generous and loving towards themselves and the world. This visualization exercise is to free your heart. Imagine you are freeing your heart from the chains and padlocks that, many, that may bind, restrict, or imprison it. Free your heart fearlessly being carried by the wish and right to love freely, widely, unconditionally, and for no particular reason. Like, you don't need no reason, love. You don't need no reason. Open up the door for somebody. You know, maybe you want to go, maybe you want to make a dish, give it to your neighbor. They might not eat the shit, but hell, you just, you just be nice. <laughs> I don't know. Just stuff like that. <laughs> what was I? Simply because loving makes you happy. I'm telling you what I said. Hey, oh my gosh, because I said that earlier when pick up a piece of trash came out. What'd I say? I said for some of you, just picking up a piece of trash makes you happy. Do the things that make you happy. Whatever makes you happy, do it. I'm not saying that you are exempt from negative energy coming towards you, but you when you when you do things that put you at a state of peace more than you worry about things that bring you in a state of low vibration, you're gonna know how to handle that low vibration of energy. Okay, what was I? You don't need to know someone or force someone to be part of your life to love them. And that's why I always tell y'all I love y'all. Like, for real. I don't got to know you. You ain't got to you you be a part of my soul, child. Here, you might be a hater of mine. But guess what, hater? I love you. I do. Because I understand what you're going through, what's happening with you. I understand. And that's another reason why I love you. I may cuss your ass out, you know what I'm saying? But I don't really like saying that, though, because I don't curse no fucking body. I just, I just, I say bad words, okay? I don't curse no goddamn body. Gotta be careful with the English language. I don't curse nobody, all right? All right. But still, I might, you know, say a bad word to your ass or whatever. Might tell you to kiss my ass and shit. But I love you. I really do. And I definitely thank you. Ooh, ooh I thank you so, so much. I thank you so much. <laughs> okay, what was I? Love them like a child who is moved by the world because love is pure, innocent, limitless, and without boundaries. Connect with Mother Earth to understand her. I'm telling you, man, what was I saying? Connecting to nature. Wow. Connect with Mother Earth to understand her and receive her energies. Mother Earth supports, nourishes, and accepts us as we are. Imagine that you are this planet and that you feel what she experiences. Man, if you if you could just sit back and imagine experiencing what she experienced, oh my gosh, you're going to feel so much pain. You're going to feel a lot of pain. Because, boy, we have, we, we've been letting her down. As a whole, we've been letting her down. But it's okay. I ain't, it's not for me to place blame on nobody. It's not. This is just to address, as a whole, we have let her down. But we can go back to nurturing her. Because nurturing her is nurturing ourselves. What the hell are we going to do if, if we keep destroying the planet? What, what, what are we going to do? Huh? What are we going to do? Hmm? Hmm? We, we, we need her for the air. We definitely need the goddamn rain. We need the sun. We, we need the fruits and the vegetables and stuff. We need the trees. I'm just saying... Imagine, um, okay, her connection with all her realms, her loving energy flowing through all creation, and her fabulous aura, and how this connection resembles yours. You can develop your values of eco-feminism by taking care of Mother Earth, because when you take care of her, you also take care of creation and nature, and your own nature connected to life and love. Oh, wow, that is so beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> so beautiful. I love it. I love it. I feel like I'm 
want to get a car from nature. Let's see what nature wants to say. I want to see what. Hold on. You know, I, I, I pull. I pull from this deck. What's this? This oracle. Okay. Let's see what nature wants to say. Take it there, Earth Mother. <laughs> I hope she comes out. I hope she comes out. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly why I picked up this deck for her to come out. <laughs> so let's see if she comes out. Okay, nature. What do you have? What message do you have for the collective right now, nature? It might not come out, but it's okay. We got moon. Okay, so take note of intuitive messages. So she definitely got a message. She she definitely got a message here. And then the goddamn fly just flew by my ear and stopped me for a second. Buzz. I'm hearing like ringing in the ear. Downloads. Yeah, like she is giving us messages here. Moon. Something about the moon is significant here. We got elder, move beyond ancestral patterns. I want to get one more. Clarify this moon here. And what I say, a whole bunch of secrets coming out. That's what this card is all about. Secrets. We got mirror garden. Take time to reflect. Yeah, this a one more month of reflection. One more month of reflection, baby. Just one more month. Okay. One more month. And I'm going to go ahead and message out right here, you guys. I really do hope y'all enjoy it. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video, my love. I'll say, Mwah. Ooh, excuse me. <laughs>